Hello, this is Jeff Byers. I'm going to take you through how to add an ambient occlusion pass to your render. Alright, um, I've got some uh, basic lights in here, some object lights, and one spotlight uh, for shadows. So, uh, we're going to do a beauty pass and then a ambient occlusion pass. So. I'm going to go ahead and turn, keep the lights off so I can see what I'm doing here. Click on Render. And our beauty pass is this. That's already selected. And put in Layer. And you can't rename that. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to right click over the object. Or anywhere in the gray area and select All. Uh, hold down the Control key and deselect your lights. Go over to Layer and create new layer and assign op selected objects. Click off anywhere. Click on the new layer, double click on it, and we'll um, just uh, uh, key in AO, aim and occlusion, hit enter. Right click over it, go to attributes. And then we we'll come into the AO layer, we'll go to presets, and click on occlusion. That will turn everything black. Okay, that's correct. And we're going to go into the arrow next to out color. And here's our samples. So I'm going to go back into my panels perspective, where my camera is, and at this point I need to turn on my um, lights, so I'm going to turn those on so we can see what's going on here, actually I'm going to keep those off, and everything's good because it's black, I'm going to turn on my wireframe and shaded just so I can see what's going on here, there we go, and this is my scene, and I'm going to go to my uh, render settings and I want to make sure that everything's on so I need to have final gather on and here's my settings for that my quality, here's my settings for my quality and my comments tab I've got enable color management and as you can see here what's uh, I've got selected Uh, perspective camera, then the sc uh, scale or the resolution, and my enable light is off. Close that, and I'm going to go ahead and render. See how that looks. You can see here that the render is kind of blotchy and it's really dark. Uh, with ambient occlusion you want uh, really, really uh, white areas and you want a high contrast between whites and darks. Okay. Alright, there's our final image. We'll go ahead and put that in. And we are going to go ahead into my render layer. Well, there's a couple things we can do. Just click on an object and do a control A. And just move, just kind of hit the arrow until you get to the surface shader. That way we can go right back into the settings. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, type in 64 samples and then a max distance anything above zero and we'll go ahead and click on one if your scene is really really large then you're going to want to start at five and then move up 
to 10 and then maybe 15 and 20. Let's go ahead and do another render. And that looks pretty good. And we'll go a little bit higher. Maybe five. And as you can see, that gives us some more shadows. So let's kind of take a look at these. So that that's your best bet for AO, the one. And this one has just got too much as far as dark areas go. So we're going to keep uh, image inclusion. If we don't like that, we can kind of go back and forth. Maybe go instead of one, we can go 2.5. But um, that's the one I want to go with. Okay, so I'm going to close the render, and I am going to go back to my color. There we go, and click out of here. Now I want to go back in here and turn that to uh, maybe two. And we'll keep the spread at 0.8. Okay. So now we are ready to render. So once you get your um, beauty pass looking the way you want it, then we can move on to the next step. So we want to basically, here's our master. Here's my texture on it. And if we click that, both of those check marked, they'll render at the same time. And uh, we want to make sure our presets are set up really good. Okay, so we got uh, indirect lighting, final gathers on, quality. We're going to turn the sample rate up to 2 on here and uh, max this out uh, to Mitchell. And then um, we're going to go ahead as you can see, I'm going to do a beauty pass, target, name dot extension, name number dot extension, frame padding of 3, start frame at 1, end frame at 200, perspective is my camera, if you have a camera you'd click on that, resolution, we want to go a little bit higher than that, we're going to go to uh, 720, and uh, everything looks else looks good. Okay. Now since you got those two check marked, they'll everything will batch render out. So let's go ahead and go to um window. Let's actually uh go to rendering here. And then under render, go to batch render. And this is where you're gonna go ahead and uh select all your possible um threads and uh, to know how many you would have I know I've got eight maybe I have more than that let's take a look so I'm going to do a control alt delete go to my task manager go to performance and I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve I have twelve processors or twelve threads and I'm going to go in here and go back to rendering, batch render, and I can type in 12. You may have 8, I don't know, may have 4. That's how you check though. And click on batch render and close. And after you do that, it'll show in here. If you want to stop the batch render, um, just um, basically have to go into um, render again and then 
cancel batch render if you want to. Okay, and that's it. That's how you uh, get your uh, master and your AO.